For us Bengalis, Ma Durga is the daughter who comes to visit her Bapir Badi along with her children and brings a treasure trove of jubilation. The essence of Durga Puja is the sublime fragrance of Shivali Pool and the true spirit is felt right from Mohalai when Birendra Krishna Bhadra's Chandi Paat resonates from every household in West Bengal. Waking up at 4 in the morning and listening to Mahesha Sur Mardani guarantees goosebumps. Take my word for it. How mon judi gelo? Apnaderu ki amar moto obostha? Bolen to. সকাল বিকেল নতুন শাড়ি ড্রেস কয়না সাজকোজ খাবা দাবা পান্ডাল হপিং বন্ধুদের সাথে আনলিমিটেড আড্ডা বাট মোস্ট ইম্পর্টেন্টলি পুজো অঞ্জলি ধুনুচি নাচ ঢাকের আবাজ আর দেরি না করে শুরু করা যাক আজকের ভিডিওটা এই মেকআপ লুকের উপর মাই পার্সোনাল প্রেফারেন্স ফর দিস মেকআপ লুক ইজ ফর অষ্টমী বাট ইউ ক্যান অবভিয়াসলি ওয়ার ইট এনি আদার টাইম দ্যাট ইউ লাইক Aside from Durga Puja, this look will be perfect for Garba, any other event, parties, date nights, etc. Alrighty, I'm in my room. I've got my trusty robe on and I'm wearing my blouse for the sari that I'm going to wear underneath. And I'm going to tie my hair up real quick. I have no product on my face as of now, like nothing, no moisturizer, nothing. I thought I'll do it all with hair. you guys on camera to begin i'm going to prep my face using a facial toner you can use any toner that you like i'm using rose water as a toner and spritz it all over my face next is the most important part is moisturizer so i was watching this tv show uh, called glow up bbc in which the cast uh, went on a bridgerton set and they were supposed to like they did the makeup of like the extras and there was a really good tip that the makeup artist from Bridgerton gave was that applying moisturizer and massaging your skin prior to makeup is a really important step what it will do is that it will warm up the skin and it will just make the product sit in much better and also the massaging will improve the blood flow towards your face and give a natural like a nice glow so that's what i'm doing here because who doesn't want a nice natural glow glow glowy skin okay okay i've zoomed you guys in brought you a little closer because we are going to do this a little differently i'm going to start with my eyes first and the reason i'm doing that is because i want a really clean base and i'm planning on doing like a smoky winged eyeliner and Whatever the eye shadow fallout happens on your face it's just more easier to clean out if you don't have any foundation on. So bear with me. Start with a cello tip. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Well, this will guarantee you a nice sharp wink liner and what I'm going to do with the tape is I'm going to put it like under my eye and just over my eyebrow. Not over my eyebrow like where the eyebrow ends and creating a nice angle. Yeah. I'm going to do the same with the other eye. Perfect. And then it's time to prime our eyes. To prime my eyes, I'm going to use my concealer, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer. And the shade I'm using is called Neutralizer. apply it all over my eyelids and then blend it out using a damp beauty blender I'm going to do the same with the other eye conceal the eyelid just so you know to have like a clean base a clear canvas so that the colors that we're going to put pop better My eyelids are all primed. I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty's nude medium palette today. I'm going to use this light brown shade over here. Taking it on a fluffy brush and focusing the color on my crease. And 
next for my eyelid I'm gonna go in with uh, this brick red color right over here and taking it on a different fluffy bending brush and apply it all over my eyelid I'm gonna start from the center leave the inner eyelid spare because I want to add like a lighter shade over there more like to highlight and since we have the tape you can easily bring in the color over the tape and that will guarantee you a nice crisp edge I think I want to add just a little bit of glitter to my eyelids so I'm gonna add this gold right here because you can't go wrong with gold during Durga Puja for the angled eyeliner I'm using like a buffing eyeshadow brush and I'm using the Morphe natural wonder palette and I'm gonna go in with the black eyeshadow take very little tap out the excess what I'm gonna do is with the black eye eyeshadow I'm just gonna draw like a eyeliner I'm just gonna keep the strokes like small and precise and then with a small blending brush I'm just gonna buff up the eyeliner or the eyeshadow to kind of create the smoky effect and I think I'm happy with the effect that my shadow has created time to get rid of these cello tapes just and see and look see what I was talking about the amount of fallout I have on my face so for that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my take a little cotton pad Take some micellar water and clean it up. That's the only reason I did not put anything else on my face. Now for the base, first I'm gonna apply so apply a little primer, and I like applying the primer more on my like nose and areas where I have larger pores. Before I begin applying my foundation, I just want to put a little bit of lip balm on my lips because your ne lips need to be moisturized too, you know. Now that my skin is all prepped, it's ready for the foundation. For my foundation, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I'm just going to take two pumps. I think it's more than enough. Then I'm going to go in with the Damp Beauty Blender and blend away. Once my found, I'm happy with the foundation and how it's blended, I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm going to use the same concealer I used on my eyelid, the Maybelline Instant Age Wine Concealer. I'm going to apply a little bit my hair first, under my eye and then just elongate. Next I'm gonna set the concealer in place using a translucent powder. I'm using the one from Laura Mercier. Powder on the lid. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in with a setting spray. I'm using the Mario Badescu skincare uh, setting spray. I like this uh, infusion because it gives a very it sets the makeup really well but also gives a really nice like a dewy finish if you know me I'm all about the glow also your neck so I'm gonna go in with the bronzer I'm using the physicians formula butter bronzer I'm gonna take a little bit on the fluffy brush and start from my forehead so I'm gonna do this Next, I'm gonna comb my eyebrow hair. Using the Benefits Cabral pencil, it's in the shade number four. And I'm just gonna draw tiny strokes in the direction of the hair growth. I'm gonna set my eyebrow hair in place using the Benefits 24 Brow Setter. I'm gonna quickly put on some false lashes because if not now, then when? And be right back. I've got my false lashes on. I'm just gonna go back in with the mascara to blend my natural lashes with the false lashes so that it appears to be my own. After applying my lashes, I'm just gonna go with, with a thin angled brush 
and take the lightest shade that's available on my eyeshadow palette which does not have glitter and apply it on the inner corner of my eyes and kind of blend it a little up next I'm going to apply some blush and get some color on my face I'm going to use the pixie on the glow blush and I love using a kabuki brush to apply a cream blush like this because I feel like it gives the most natural looking finish and it blends the blush in much more much better I'm gonna take some in I'm gonna take some the pro, some of the product on the foundation brush then just a little bit on no now I'm gonna blend in the blush a little bit more using the beauty blender that has a little bit of foundation on which will reduce the intensity a little bit more and, and last but not the least lipstick since my eye is quite intense for a daytime event I'm going to go with go in with a really like a nude lip color this is from Kat Von D I don't remember the name of the lip color but I'll find it and link it down in the description box down below and I'm going to apply like a very light layer and let my eyes do all the talking and of course my outfit too my makeup is done time for some setting spray to keep all this locked in place in the urban decay all nighter setting spray i really love this product i used this recently for my brother's wedding and i my makeup did not budge all night so i'm gonna go in with this i'm gonna keep it away from my face and be a little generous my hair is done, my makeup is done, time for outfit. One, two, three, and I'm ready. Asha kori apna the video ta kub bhalo lagechen. If any of you recreate my looks, please post them on Instagram and don't forget to tag me. My ha Instagram handle is quirky underscore lens. I'll also link it down below. I would love to see your looks and your versions of it and your shaj gosh for Durga Pujo. If you really like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Until then, happy pujo! Bye!